Going back to a couple of days ago, I went on a road trip, so I just want to go back to that just for a quick second. Big win for you guys, being able to, to dig that game out on the road, just sort of talk about that a little bit. It was actually our first road win in the Big East. Uh, it was a tough game. Going into the fall, our team was playing very really well. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of good guys that can uh, do a lot of different things. Big fit five shooters on the court, which was a, a disadvantage for us because of, of our size and our, our actual team set up. So we had to go from the game in the first half. But then Coach, Coach Thompson realized that, man, he's the best for the defense for So in the second half, it's going to be going to come up. So our team did a good job. Like, you know, Big game for you coming down the stretch. Hit free throws. I mean, this. This team prides itself in, in answering the bell in big moments, and here you are down the stretch, you hit those big free throws. I know a couple of games earlier hadn't shot it well from the from the charity stripe. How good did it feel to step up for your team and answer the bell like that? Yeah, like you mentioned, a couple of games before that against Providence, I missed some big free throws that actually could have probably won us the game. So uh, a couple of days after that, practice that was focused on that, going to the line, working on my rhythm, uh, focusing, actually relaxing, and then the problem came with the ball game. Shot six free throws again at the end of the game, and I made up for my mistakes. Like that. <laughs> five, six, that was a big for me. Yeah, five for six. Not only you made up for it and some. Let's talk about Butler. Uh, obviously, this this weekend, and these guys. This is a physical group of team that you guys have played before. Uh, it looked physical when you played them before. I think in the Bahamas is when you guys played them. Uh, talk about being in that game. How physical was that group, and how physical do you expect it to be? Uh, it's, be, it's another Big East game, so it's going to be very physical. Uh, Butler itself is a team that prides itself on defense and playing together, so they have a lot of guys stepping up, running, help defense, taking charges, uh, showing a good picture behind us. So I think it's good. Our team, we just got to be conscious of that, uh, making the extra pass. Uh, when we drive to the lane, not actually going to finish, but actually driving to get somebody else's shot. Uh, it's going to be another good game. We lost them earlier uh, this season, but I feel as though we, 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 we get better as a team now. Both of these teams are different now. I mean, it was such a long time ago. Uh, you guys now are 11 and 5. Sort of put your finger on the pulse of this team right now. Where do you guys think you are in, in terms of are you where you kind of want to be getting set to make this second half stretch? I think every day we get better. Each and every game we show a little bit different, uh, different place where we get better early in the season. We weren't that good on uh, transition defense. I feel as though the last couple games we've been doing a good job of uh, stopping teams with transition. And uh, on the offensive end, I think. Still get, we still got a lot of guys who can do a lot of different things. I feel as though there's only one for improvement. Yeah. Big picture, the Big East. I mean, every night is a battle. You win by three, two, six. I mean, here and there, every game comes down to a possession here and a possession there. How mentally draining, mentally tough do you have to be in this league every night to know you have to grind through this thing no matter who you play? Yeah, Coach Thompson always says you got to put your big boy pants on. It's not going to be any <laughs> cakewalks in the Big East. So, uh, each and every game is exhausting. You just gotta take advantage of the days off, rush your body, get get healthy, come in there and knock down some shots the next day, uh, and get ready to focus. It, a lot of the times it comes down to the mental part of the game, who's gonna be able to execute at the end of the game, and not who's gonna have the fresher play. So I feel like uh, like Coach Hawks has been able to prepare for that. You've been in this program for a couple of years. That kind of mental toughness that you gain in January and early February, does it help you in March? Definitely, definitely. The guys are definitely buying it too. Uh, says they, they're learning the offense, we know what to execute, we know what guys are looking for on certain possessions or on certain shots, so I feel like the team is just getting better. Hey, thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate your time, man. Thank you. All right.